All right, everyone, thank you for joining us at the 2024 AHR Expo. We are spending time with Bosch. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. And you are? I'm Shu. I'm Senior Product Manager here at Bosch for the air sauce heat pumps. Oh, so you know all about this beautiful this thing This is right my baby. Here. Okay, yeah. that's even better. <laughs> so I'm very familiar with the Bosch 18 in the 20s. And I was um, at a training class recently, and I was sitting in on the 20, and I was just learning all the details of it, hoping that I was going to hit that 1.75 at 5 degrees. And I went, okay, that's a great product. I bet they're working on something else. And I come to AHR, and I see this. Here we go. So tell me a little bit about what we have right here, because this actually has two things that I'm very passionate about. I'm very passionate about inverter heat pumps as we're moving into the technology transition. Absolutely. And I'm very passionate about the refrigerant transition. Sure. We have both. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. let me tell you something about this product. Okay. First of all, the name of this product is called IDS Ultra. Ooh, Ultra right. in terms of a great heating performance. Yes. You know, this is a heat pump specially designed for cold climate regions. Sure. Some background information of this product is two years ago, Department of Energy, DOE, released a challenge. A challenge. Right? A challenge. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Who can make the best equipment exactly. out there? Exactly. There are yeah. many man manufacturers yes. participate in the challenge. Bosch is one of them. Yes. And, you know, good news is we passed the challenge as of October last year. Oh. So we passed the lab yes. testing. There are many, many requirements. Oh, yeah, it's a big list. Yeah, exactly. Refrigerant yeah. related, capacity yeah. related, efficiency related, sure. demand response, right? Many user related features. Yes. So we passed the lab testing, we proved ourselves. Right. Now we are at the phase of, you know, fuel trials. Oh, wow. So I, uh, we've got an R454, exactly. cold climate, inverter heat pump that is very, very contractor friendly. Yes. So this is a piece of equipment that can be easily utilized to convert an existing system that is an air conditioning or even heat pump into a modern cold climate heat pump. Absolutely. So that's our hope, right? Yes. With this cold climate heat pump, we're trying to push to the market and have the homeowner replace their fossil fuel systems yes. and giving them really a reliable product, provide reliable and comfort, yes. you know, heating supply and, you know, make them feel comfortable to get rid of their 10 years, 15 years furnace and install the new technologies hit them. A lot of new technologies in yes. here. People that have um, gotten used to the stigma that we used to have with single stage and two stage heat pumps don't know what they're getting until they get into something like yes, this. Yes, exactly. You know, Ty and I were just doing some short videos on inverter heat pumps that we have. Yes. And I, I myself, I was in the Midwest. It was minus one and I was 80 degrees in my workshop mm -hmm. because I had properly designed, selected and commissioned a system. So it's about using the right products because not all heat pumps are created the same. Absolutely. There are heat pumps in the market that stop working at five degrees Fahrenheit. How low does this one go? So this one goes to minus 13 degree Fahrenheit. That's our preaching range. Wow. But once the unit started, it yeah. can go down to minus like 25. We actually had a testing Amazing. with DOE assigned, you know, a, a lab yes. in Oak Ridge. The, my, the lowest temperature that lab can achieve is minus 30 degree. And the unit stop is still running, really? never shut down. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. And think yes. about, if we just step back 20 years in our industry, we really got to a point where we would look at a heat pump and go, you know what, 40 degrees, you probably turn it off. It's not keeping you comfortable. Yes. In today's society, we can relook at that stigma and go, a lot of things have changed and technology has done that. Yes. And when we put it all together into a package, here we go. Here we go. I want to talk a lot, uh, you know, a few things about technology, yes. right? You mentioned, we mentioned a lot of technologies. So, a couple of unique points. First mm -hmm. is the compressor. So, we're using something called EVI compressor, enhanced vapor injection. Oh, really? Which is, mm. you know, a great compressor, not only inverter, yeah. but also designed for the cold climate. Absolutely. That's how it, it achieves the great heating performance. That makes so much sense. You know, okay. 10 HSPF2, yes. 100 capacity. I'd five degree Fahrenheit. Wow. You mentioned wow, the balance wow. point. That's yes. a great point, right? Mm -hmm. This product still 100% capacity at five. How many days in your region? That's the temperature will be below five, right? Sure. Think about it. You know, when we think about that, a lot of the specifications, it only had to hit 70% at five. Exactly. And it's hitting 100% at five degrees. Exactly. So that's a requirement from the Department of Energy. Sure. Today, Energy Star V6.1, yeah. the definition of a cold climate heat pump is yeah. 70% at five. Right. This one is 100%. So it's a true cold climate heat pump. So wow. that's number one different. Yeah. Number two technology change is yeah. this, you know, the top part. I noticed. The, we call this new blower housing or new okay. blower technology. Sure. What it's doing, right? The 2.0, you're familiar with the 20-year yeah. product. It doesn't have this part. 
So the blower is somewhere here. When the blower is spinning, right, you can imagine the airflow goes a lot from the bottom coil. But, you know, if you're checking the top part of the coil, airflow is not that much. Right. With we rising the blowers, you know, the blower blade a little bit higher, now with the blade spinning, right. the airflow is really spinning each coil like equally, consistently. consistently. The point I'm trying to make here is we as Bosch, we're trying to do some innovations. Yeah. So instead of just putting more coils right. on the port, Making it a larger that you can't get through exactly. the gate to do the installation. Make it, you know, looks prettier. Yeah. And this is a five ton, check the size here. Really? Yes, it's a five ton. You've really caught my attention yeah. now. So capacity wise, uh, how much capacity room do we have? So typically with our inverters, you know, we have a window of modulation. Are yes. we talking 40% to 100%? Yes. So that's some information we're still trying to fix. Fun -tune, let's say fun tuning a little bit. Sure. This one is up to 55,000 BTU per hour. Yep. How low it can go? Normally, I would say about you know 30%, wow. but we are something fun tuning. Low. Yeah. Yeah. So it gives us a lot of capacity. It's helping us understand that we can utilize systems that could be not just in half ton increments. We can start looking at full ton increments. We could even potentially look at a five ton that could fit a bill between three and five tons. Exactly. Yes. Okay. I love it. Thank you so much for your time. No worries. Thank you so much for having me today. We appreciate you. Thank you.